call me S K E P T A. Before I start, I just wanna say, boy, better know. What's up guys, Pluto here bringing you episode 32 of Road to Team Inform and as you see now I'm on 105k and everything I sold from the last episode in the trade pile so as you see there, all 7 items, I think there's about 7 items in there I've sold and the first player which sold was Tish Manga, he sold for 6.5k the Genk version of him, Gutierrez he sold for 24,500 which is very much overpriced, I'm surprised I even got that Luke Young I believe that is, he sold for 1,300 coins so that was about 500 coins profit on him Tishmangan again, this is the Sportak Luckerin version, he sold for 7.5k. And then Destro, I think the next player is, he went for his uh, uh, min price, not the buy now, which is quite annoying. I was hoping that he'd go for the buy now, which is an extra 500 coins. And then Rudy Skatchel, he went for 24,000 coins, which is pretty decent, that's like the maximum you're going to get out of him. And Garai, he sold pretty quickly as well, 24,750, and his average price is like 20k, which is, you know, pretty awesome. I really didn't expect them all to sell and this is the team as I have showed you many of time but if you're new to the series and this is the team which I'm going for the final player which I'm going to go for is in for Mignolet in goal and he's about 200k so moving on to the second part of the video I'm on 48 coins now and I've spent the 100k which I had to spend and I've only spent it on five players as you see right here in the trade pile four of them are from the Serie A and one from League One in the French League so the first player is Maggio in a 4 treble 2, bought him for 16,500 which is pretty cheap actually, I should be able to sell him on for 22k, 23k. If he was in a decent position to suit the formation I could probably get around about 25k out of him, but I'm just going to stick them all up for an hour, see if they sell him that time. If not I'll list him later on at night. And then the next player is Nocorino or Nocorino, I really don't know how you pronounce it. But I bought him for 20,500 in a pretty bad formation to sell him on for. But I'm going to try and sell him on for 25,000 to 26,000. Uh, that's cheapest on the market. I believe he's going for around about 28k average price. And then Barreto CDM, he's normally a centre mid in a 4 1 2 1 2. I got him for 15,500. I'm looking to sell him for around about 23k, 24k. And he should sell pretty quickly because he's a high rated silver, the highest rated silver you can get. And then Sadorf, 82 overall. Bought him for 18,000 coins, I believe that is. I'm looking to sell him on for 25k, which is the cheapest Milan midfielder on the market. Uh, there's only two up at at the moment I'm speaking of so I'm going to try and sell him on pretty quickly for 24,500 and the final player which is Pastore this is where most of my coins went uh, 34,500 coins that is actually all the coins which I had left I'm going to try and sell them on for 42k which is going to be some decent profit and that is it for all the trades of this episode I'm just going to quickly show you the team and how much all the plays have cost me so looking at that I'm going to be on around about 130k, maybe a tiny bit more after the EA tax. But here's the whole team. As I've shown in the first part of the video, I'm just going to show you exactly how much I paid for. So, second for Walcott, I paid 100k. Oxlade Chamberlain, I paid 313k, which is kind of ridiculous. Uh, McCauley, I spent 63k. Ben Arthur, this is the first and foremost, spent about 80k. Young Kabai, 32k. Sessignon, around about 23k. Roger Johnson, 16,750. Heitinger, 22 1k I think that was, to wrap 16,750 and Nani was about 52k, so that is it for the episode guys, do hope you've enjoyed it, if you have enjoyed it leave a like on the video and if you aren't already follow me on Twitter or subscribe to my YouTube, please do that and I will see you guys in the next episode.